Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will study about flat plate solar collector. A flat plate solar collector is a type of heat exchanger that converts the radiant solar energy coming from the sunlight or sun into the heat energy. Basically, it collects and captures solar energy of sun and uses that energy to heat water in home for bathing, washing and heating and can even be used to heat outdoor swimming pools and hot tubs. For most residential and small commercial hot water applications, solar flat plate collector tends to be more cost effective. This is because due to simple in design, low cost and relatively easier installation, it is most effective compared to other form of hot water heating system. Also, solar flat plate collectors are more than capable of delivering necessary quantity of hot water at required temperature. Components of flat plate collector Galsing sheet Galsing, which may be one or more sheets of glass or other radiation transmitting material. Galsing sheet has the function of isolating solar collector from external environmental conditions and allowing solar radiations to pass through. This cover is what causes the greenhouse effect. It is usually made up of single sheet of solid glass approximately 4 mm thick. This part is only present in gals flat plate solar collectors designed to minimize the heat losses. Heat absorbing riser tubes. Tubes are attached for conducting or directing heat transfer fluid from inlet to outlet. Absorber plate which may be flat or grouped with tubes, pins or passenger attached to it. The solar flat plate collector typically consists of a large heat absorbing plate, usually a large sheet of copper or aluminium as they are both are good conductor of heat, which is painted or chemically inched black to absorb as much solar radiation as possible for Maximum efficiency. Inlet and outlet are attached to admit cold water inlet and to discharge hot water outlet. Insulation. Insulation reduces heat losses from inside of the collector, specifically from absorbing plate to the outside. It is usually made up of synthetic foam sheet located on side and the back of the solar panel. Casing Container or housing which surrounds various components and protects them from the dust, moisture, etc. This closure is typically formed by an aluminium profile that guarantees a resistance of assembly. Even under extreme working conditions, in addition, casing has performation for draining condensates in the lower part. Working of flat plate collector. The operation of flat plate collector is based on the term heat transfer. Solar radiation falls on the heat absorbing plates of the collector. When incident solar radiation hits the absorbing plate, the part of its energy is converted into heat. Consequently, the temperature of solar collector increases. If we pass a fluid inside the collector, the fluid temperature rises because the part of absorbing plate heat is transferred to the liquid inside the tubes. 
generally the tubes are made up of copper however the rest of the energy is still lost in radiation to the outside environment the fluid transports the heat from collector to heat exchanger to supply the energy system and this hot fluid we get from the outlet of the collector is used for the domestic purpose sunlight heats the absorbing surface which increases the temperature as the absorber plates get hotter this heat is conducted through riser and absorbed by fluid flowing inside the copper tubes which is then used by household application pipe and absorber plate are enclosed in insulated metal or wood box with sheet of gazing material on front to protect absorber plate and create an insulating air space the gazing material used here does not absorb sun's thermal energy to any significant extent and therefore most of the incoming radiations is received only by the absorber plate classification of flat plate collector flat plate collector are basically divided into two categories according to their use water or liquid heaters or air heaters these collector are meant for their uses are subdivided as pin and pin type water sandwich type and semi sandwich type these three are the classification of water or liquid heaters pin plate or metal matrix are the classification of air heater why aluminum insulation is used in flat plate collector the air gap between plate and gazed material traps this heat preventing it from escaping back to the atmosphere as we all know the absorber plate warms up due to sunlight it transfer heat to the fluid within the collector but it also loses some amount of heat to its surrounding to minimize this heat loss bottom and top side of flat plate collector are insulated with high temperature rigid foam or aluminum foil insulation advantages of flat plate collector save money on your energy bills as sunlight is free installing flat plate collector is a greater way to save money on your yearly energy bills earn money through renewable energy incentives you can earn money for using solar power to heat water through the government renewable heat incentive cut your carbon footprints if you want to help the environment installing flat plate collector is a great thing to do solar power is a form of renewable energy by using sunlight instead of non renewable fuel you will be doing your bit to reduce the use of fossil fuels and cut your carbon footprints get hot water throughout the year although winter is chilling this doesn't mean it's not sunny so you should able to get some hot water from your solar collectors throughout the year disadvantages of flat plate collector you will probably need a backup heater solar water heating system can be very effective but as it's not sunny all the time you will probably need a backup heater you can either combine your solar system with a regular or system boiler or install an immersion heater to boost your water temperature when needed solar hot water system aren't compatible with combi boiler solar water system need an external hot water cylinder 
as combi boilers don't have one they are not compatible with solar hot water systems so if you have a combi boiler and want a solar hot water system you will have to pay extra to change your boiler flat plate collector can be less efficient than other system although flat plate collectors are generally very effective they can be slightly less efficient than evacuated tube solar panels they are also slightly less compact